Hello, and welcome to Strange Solution. My name is Darren, and I am your host. I do want to start off this uh, particular uh, recording with, uh, with just a quick note uh, to say that uh, I do apologize that it's been a while since I've put out um, content. I have just been really super busy. I uh, had a convention last weekend, and then although I did take the next week off, I was not feeling great the first couple of days, and then um, I just was busy the last part of it. So things have kind of maybe slowed down a little for me, uh, so I will try and get some recordings out and get some, uh, hopefully some entertaining product out there for you. But anyway, um, we are in the midst of a Carcosa campaign with a solo daisy deck, and we are on Unspeakable Oath, um, and we are, yeah, we are ready to uh, basically get started. And according to the instructions, I, I didn't know a way to put the top card of my deck upside down without seeing it, so I have seen the card, but I would have followed the directions either way. It's, it's there, and it has... Uh, to sanity you know that might actually be after I've completed s set up so I probably should have done it after I mulliganed oh well I'm not gonna fuss with it that much I really probably wouldn't care too much of what was there so um, you know what just in case I think I will do that I'll put this back and then I'll do that after setup be my top card we'll see what it is I, I don't see a way to do that otherwise um, so, um, yeah, there you go. So I think what I'm going to do, kind of like Eureka, if I were to go back and redo this deck, I would probably just not even put Perception in and just have Eureka. I do like the ability to filter draw better than just drawing, but, you know... I think I'm going to keep an I've got a plan, and that will be all. So let's draw three more cards. I knew one of them would be that magnifying glass. We'll put that back in. We'll give it a shuffle. Go to my deck. We're going to just pull the top card. We're going to put it out. It might take away resources. It did not. I'll just give it a flip. So that will be my courage um, <coughs> that has uh, two sanity on it. So yeah, that was... Uh, that was that. Um, sorry. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with our first investigator phase. So we do need to get, uh, looks like a couple of, we need to get three clues. And we need to get them pretty fast. Um, I just started here as a, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Um, thinking now, though, I wish I would have started here because I know I'm fairly confident this is a, has some victory points on it. Uh, so um, anyway, let's get started here. I think the first thing I'm going to do, see, that's a two. This has no reason to not play this out. So I'll play that out. Because it's fast and free, which is really nice. So I still have three actions. Um, yep. I th think I'm going to go ahead and play No Stun Unturned. Got a couple of the archaic glyphs as an option, and I do have an old book of lore, but I really like this because I don't, you know, if I were to meet up with an enemy early in this, I could be in real trouble. So we'll go ahead and put that out, we'll shuffle that stuff back in. That was action one. Uh, we'll discard that. 
Action two will be to play the Archaic Glyphs. And action three will be to investigate. We're going to just use regular investigate at a six versus two. Chaos bag. That's a minus one. So that's a pass. I get that clue. And that will be my last action. I have to end your turn at this location. Take one horror, which I will put here. And gain two resources. Oh, well, that's kind of nice. Enemy phase, upkeep phase. We'll draw a card and gain a resource. Well, that could be helpful. Oh, well, you know what? I think those are all, it's only two revealed locations, but that could actually still be helpful. Okay. Mythos phase, we will add our first doom. And draw an encounter card. Walls closing in. Test um, willpower of X, where X is the shroud value of your location, so that's a 2. If you fail, you must either take one horror for each point you failed by, or randomly choose one enemy from among... Okay, so... So this will be a 3 versus a 2. I think I'm going to go ahead and put my Eureka in this. And make it a 4 versus 2. Chaos bag... Uh, that's a fail. So there you go. So I failed that by one. Uh, for if you fail, you must either take one horror for each point you fail by. So I'm going to take the horror and I'm going to put it on this, and that'll get discarded. All right. Oh, you know what? I should have a physical damage. Okay. And that gets. Okay. All right. Now back to the investigator phase. Okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take an action to move move here. We'll reveal it and add clues. Um, um, here as an action, you can heal one damage and take one direct horror, or heal one horror and take one direct damage, and it has a victory of one. <clears throat> Um, so we will go ahead and investigate at a 5-6 versus a 3. I think we'll just go ahead and take it at that. Shuffle Chaos Bag. That's a minus 1. That's a pass. That gets me that clue. And I get to add a clue. Okay. So I've got one more action. Boy, if I go back there, I don't have any horror yet. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back here and take my last action to move back here. And I will take a horror and gain two resources. I mean, Jenny's got the horror to take, so enemy phase, upkeep phase, I'll draw a card and gain a resource. Mythos phase will add a doom, which meets the doom threshold. We'll flip that. Uh, shuffle the encounter discard pile and each of the set aside lunatic enemies into the encounter deck. So we go to the discard pile. And I believe that is here. So that will go here. Okay. Oops, agenda. Okay. Put that out. Oh, wait, let's make sure that I did everything. The lead investigator must randomly choose enemy from the among them and place it beneath. Okay, so we got to do that too. So let's give this a shuffle. And then we'll do a face down encounter two, and that goes underneath this. So I'll just cover the picture. Wait, is that right? Under the act deck. Yep. Okay. 
Alrighty, and now we come, uh, we gotta do an encounter card. Uh, just gain Surge. So we now have a young psychopath. We will take. We will not take the horror, will we? We will take a horror. Okay. Now. We come to the investigator phase. Okay. We attack. This is going to be. So that'll be three damage. She can take two. Her combat is two. So, yep, we are going to use. <clears throat> I've got a plan. It's my first action. Um, <clears throat> this will be a five uh, versus two. Because I'm using uh, my intellect instead and this will do like three damage that's a zero that's so that that hits and that gets rid of that that gets discarded action two will be to move to here um Okay, that would have been some card draw, but that's fine. And action three will be to move here. Okay. We come to the enemy phase, upkeep phase, we'll draw a card and gain a resource. Mythos phase, we'll add a Doom to the agenda, and draw an encounter card. So that's a Roach Swarm. That, man, I knew I was going to wish that I still had that in just a minute, but we will see. Might just invest, might um, evade him, or I could investigate using this. Ooh, that's such a nice thing. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, yep. So we are going to come to the investigation phase. All right, we're going to spend a charge from our click, Glyphs, and we're going to go at a 5-6 versus 2. Chaos Bag. That is a pass, so he gets evaded. I get a clue. Um, so I can do that at any time, huh? So I could potentially put out Milan and investigate again. Oh, I have to discard a card, actually. Discard one card uh, astral travel that's fine that's actually not a bad idea so before i pay the clues because i can do that at any time i'm use so i've got two actions left i'm use my next action to play out dr milan And I will investigate. Whoops! And I will investigate again. So this will be a five, six, seven to two. Chaos bag. That's a skull. Uh, that's a pass. It goes back to the chaos bag. I get that clue. Add a clue and a resource. Okay, and we discard a card. Uh, ooh, I kind of would have liked to have had that. So we come to the enemy phase, 
There are currently no readied enemies. Upkeep phase, the roach swarm will get ready and engage us. We will draw a card. Ooh, boo! <laughs> okay, this could be trouble. Oh, well, you know what? That's not horrible right now. So, I don't have anything in the body slot. This comes back to my hand, because that's what this says. Return each asset in those slots to your hand. Okay. Uh, this takes up the arcane slot, so that's fine. And then we draw... That gains surge, so we do the next thing. Ooze and filth. Each location gets plus one shroud. Um, till the end of the round. So this gets discarded. That's the end of the round, so this also gets discarded. That actually didn't hurt me at all. Mythos phase will add a doom. And we'll draw an encounter card. Um, if there are no lunatic enemies in play, there are none. Counter card. Ooh, ouchie. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Well, that is not fun. Let's see. So I could waste my last two charges on that. Evade an enemy. At evade an engaged enemy. But I'm also going to lose my last two cards. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to investigate at a five, six to two, chaos bag. Uh, that's a pass. I have to discard a card. I gain a resource. Wait, does that say I just successfully investigate? Yeah. Uh, we'll just pick one of these. Put them back, we'll do it again. At a five, six versus three. Chaos bag. Minus three again. That's still good. That goes here. This gets discarded. We gain a resource. Whoops. And then final action will be to move here. Okay, that was the investigator phase. Enemy phase, upkeep phase, these two things ready. Uh, problem is, is I kind of needed to go, you know what, actually, hmm, I haven't drawn yet, so I don't feel too bad about taking that back and going here but I don't have my astral travel or a way to get back by there quickly. I will just use the other things that come up. Okay. Um, also, before I draw, I am going to go ahead and spend the three clues oops, two, three, to advance the act. Let's see what this says. <sighs> that scare must choose. So I will choose to do the uh, the intellect test. So this would be a five, six versus a four. As many minus threes as I have, I'm actually a little bit of concerned about this. Well, that's a zero, so that's fine. So I get that. Uh, now I go to Act 2A. The really bad ones. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, so now I can uh, now I can enter those locked locations. All right. Okay. Uh, nope, I need to be in my hand now. I will draw a card and gain a resource. Um, Mythos phase will add a doom and draw an encounter card. Ugh. Well, nearest Asylum Halls location. I'm in an Asylum Halls location, so it's with me. Um, investigator phase. Well, now this is interesting. What do I do here? <laughs> Evasion's going to be really hard now, because I've only got to evade... And he's a three. Um, hmm. Yeah, I happen to waste all those charges on this for this roach swarm really made me sad. I really kind of don't want to leave him there either. Um, punching is tough when you attack. Ugh. And I'm going to take horror just for attacking him. Well. Let's do it. We're going to punch him. Stupid. That's a minus three. So we'll do that. Do it again. Counter two face down. Well, I don't know what to do here, folks. Um, I guess I'll just try once to evade him. I mean, it's going to fail, but that's two. So that's a fail. At least it keeps me from getting the... So I take a damage, which I will take the damage. Sure. Upkeep phase, I really need a mom or a something. Well, that's not very helpful. Um, gain a resource. Mythos phase, we'll add a doom. And we'll draw an encounter card. Oh, well, I think that's probably just about to make this unbeatable for me. I lost those cards, those some good cards early on. I just don't know what to do at this point. Losing that mom here. Maybe I shouldn't have been so greedy. Maybe I should have gone here. Gotten that victory point. Well, I will be honest as well that I don't feel like starting this over or starting the next part of this campaign with a new investigator. So... I'm going to call this a fail. I mean, there's nothing. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to get out of this situation. Um, I'd have to be able to evade twice and get out of there. And even and, and my evade, I'm going to be even up if I toss shortcut on one of those tests. So I can't do anything else without causing an attack of opportunity from them. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I just got inundated with a lot of enemies. But that's the joy. That's kind of the the thing with Daisy. She can be, she can be a lot of fun. You see, I got got pretty far before uh, things went went south on me. I probably should have. My other thing is, is I maybe should have started here, um, so that I could go here, grab these two clues, and then maybe head back this direction, or maybe have gone here and grabbed this clue, and then headed back and grabbed these two clues, so I could advance the agenda a little faster. Um, I don't know. There's there's no good answer, but I'm going to call this a loss at this point. These these things are going to hit me. I mean, I could try to avoid them, but her plus, even her elders, I, there's one token in amongst 16 that would keep, that would allow me to evade, um, and I'd have to grab it twice. Um, punching, I'm going to just, I'm going to cause myself horror till I die, um, and I'm even up on it. Huh? Let's get, I guess, let's give that a try. Uh, we'll punch this one. Chaos bag. Shuffle. That's a fail. That's a horror. He'll get discarded. Try punching that one again. Chaos bag. Minus one. That's a fail. That gives me a horror. Um, and we'll do it one more time. Chaos bag. Shuffle. That's the auto fail, and I take a horror. Um, enemy phase, I'll take two damage. Upkeep phase, I'll draw a card and gain a resource. I mean, a mom might have made helped me get get out of this particular situation. Uh, but Mythos phase will add a doom. Uh, sorry, there is a lawnmower going, so that's added to some uh, to some sound here. Encounter card. Uh, if I have at least three horror, which I do, lose one action. That gains surge, so I have two actions. Yeah, I mean, that's what it is. It, it's whatever. Um, even even if I somehow manage to get the plus one, the zero, or the elder sign twice, I can only kill one of them and then I die. So I think we call that the end. There's nothing I can do here. I'm I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. Um, it was fun to try for a second there. And that, that can be the problem with Daisy is uh, she gets a couple of monsters on her and I mean you really have to be ready. And the thing is the stuff like shriveling doesn't work that well with her because of her insanely low willpower. Um, a willpower of three for a spell slinger isn't great. So the cards that I have for her um, that I'll, from the mystic did I break the game? So my mystic cards are, I have one copy of David Renfield. I think I have two astral travels. I have fearless and defiance. Defiance is pretty good in Path to Carcosa because there's usually only one other thing other than the, um, than the skull. There's usually either like two cultists or two tablets or two elder things the skull and the rest are just numbers so defiance is actually a really good card i really really like it and jim culver in in the path to carcosa because he can negate so many uh tokens i'm really kind of excited to try out some of those things that seal tokens with him that's gonna be amazing uh but anyway uh, Ward of Protection is my other, um, my other mystic cards, and, um, yeah, that's, that's that, um, I 
do want to say uh, again sorry for the length of time that it took between um, putting stuff out um, I do appreciate you watching um, if you do want to get in contact with me around most of the places I'm Jacques Steampunk you can always leave a comment below give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe because I will be putting out more content um, at this point I'm not a hundred percent certain what I what I'm gonna do it depends on how quickly the person that updates uh, lackey puts in the stuff from um, the next big box which I can't think of the name of off the top of my head it depends on how soon they put that in if they put that in I might um, be willing to give like Ursula Downs or something like that or maybe Father Mateo a try in um, maybe Dunwich or Carcosa I'd be willing to give Carcosa another try with a different investigator uh, but I did want to you know show you Carcosa with uh, some Daisy going on but anyway um, that's just some ideas of what I might be doing for the future but anyway uh, I once again want to thank you for watching have an and as as usual thank you for watching and have a great day